These women all reportedly died after having butt lifts, but that hasn't stopped a big increase in the procedure, and that has spawned a back alley business. Lisa Guerrero investigates. It's the Brazilian butt lift craze. More than 40,000 were safely performed just last year. Brazilian butt lift, or BBL, is the fastest growing cosmetic procedure in the world. Experts say it's also the most dangerous. Jada Pinkett Smith and her daughter Willow recently discussed the risks. I'm glad we're talking about this today, the BBLs, because I was considering getting one. Me too! Board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Constantino Mendieta specializes in butt lifts. The problem is that a lot of these people that are injecting aren't licensed, number one, but they're not even medical professionals sometimes. And, and that's where it gets real scary. He says he's seen patients disfigured after getting everything from fix a flat to liquid cement injected into their rear ends. Experts caution that even when the surgery is performed by board certified plastic surgeons, there can still be serious risks. I'm concerned as to not what happens there, there, there's different things. It's what happens immediate. Could they hit a vein and create problems like death? Could you get infections? That happens in the immediate period. And then there's a long-term effect. How does the body respond to that five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 years later? According to published reports, all these women have died following complications from Brazilian butt lifts. I try not to get emotional when people talk to me about this, but it's hard. Oklahoma nurse Rolanda Hutton claims in a lawsuit a botched procedure left her in a wheelchair. Claims her surgeon says are without merit. They put in way too much fat. The fat they put in um, bagged her nerves. I mean, it compressed her sciatic nerves. That's why she can't walk. Experts say the demand for Brazilian butt lifts has gotten so high, some unscrupulous and unqualified people are now trying to cash in, offering black market butt lift injections to women at discount prices. Case in point, this woman who doesn't even have a medical license. It's things like a pinch. Have you ever got a needle? We found her advertising her advanced glute enhancement needle therapy on this Instagram account. The cost, $950. Wearing hidden cameras, Inside Edition producers Alicia Powers and Katie Taylor met with her in this office space. This is what's gonna go in her, this is the filler. So one for each cheek. Can you walk me through what's in it? Okay, so mainly collagen. We have aloe vera pant, seaweed, vitamin E, fucus, I don't even know how to pronounce it. So we can Google Wait, it if you want. Yep, she can't even remember what's in those syringes. So it's like coffee? Yeah. There's coffee in this? Mm-hmm. Where do you inject it in the butt? It, right, right, I was going to ask oh, what. Sorry. So we'll go right here. We passed and caught up with her as she left for the night. Are you performing black market butt injections here? No. Do you have a medical license? No, why are you asking me that? Were you just about to inject a young woman here a few minutes ago? No. Are you sure you weren't doing I'm that? I'm positive. Because we had hidden cameras on you. No, I didn't do anything like that. It's hard to believe that that type of thing happens in this day and age in the United States, in the state of New Jersey. It's really remarkable. We showed our video to New Jersey board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Arthur Perry. We're talking about a procedure that is not being done by a doctor being done by an unlicensed professional in an unsterile way with someone that can't even pronounce the ingredients that she's injecting into your buttocks. Come on now, this is crazy. There's coffee in this? Mm-hmm.